free cup debate. To fill or not to fill. Welcome to the channel, or if you're new here and haven't been following this journey, my name is Gigaholic Rex and I am on a mission to do a 30 day challenge to lose weight using the gig apps and some gym work. Trying to build back into shape, get back into shape for being an out of shape guy and severely overweight. Why don't I tell my weight? Well, I'm kind of ashamed how big it is. But I, I also don't like to keep track of my weight. Every time I've gone through any kind of a weight loss, getting on the scale kind of ruins it for me. So I really like to gauge it by my clothes, my energy level. And you know, probably at the end of the 30 days, I will do my weight. I know what my starting weight is. And at the end of the 30 days, I will check my ending weight. This is day eight of the challenge. We're going to go to the gym first. It's in the evening. And you might want to stay to the end to see my little whiny crybaby thing that I do over one of the gigs that I take. And so, let's wind it up. Let's enter the gigaboo. Look at this screenshot for Instacart. Now they're letting me hide a batch in my area. I've seen other areas have that, but now mine has to hide a batch. Like I really would use it. The batches pop up on the screen and disappear fast, but it is there. So maybe something new. Day eight and we're heading in. Today I think I will start with the Stairmaster. I did it that one day, what was it? I think day five maybe is when I did the Stairmaster. And I'm such a baby that I didn't, haven't done it again since. Cause it was just, it just killing me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to it again. All right, I really didn't want to come out and go today, but I got it. I can't, can't break the cycle. Let's go. Six minutes. At least I'm not as dead as I was. Day five at five minutes. Not sweating as bad. I was five, which is not that big. Steps are not really too fast. But for somebody who hasn't walked on steps like that for years, <laughs> it is it is something. Let's put it that way. Oh, the breathing. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. I'm doing a little slip, I'm got pain on my side. I guess that was what happens <laughs> when, you, when you don't work against that much and you suck you get a pain on your side. It's a good pain though. One thing is, let's go over to the other pain. Well, one of the reasons I do foot pain issues, it doesn't hurt. So you want a low impact, at least for me, for my joints, legs, until I build up back to like, well, um, we're gonna see. Oh wow. Okay, so finished up the workout, turned on all the apps like five minutes before I finished just to hopefully catch something before I left. So I started up DoorDash, did the earn by offer. The earn by time is now 16 something in my market. I'll put up the screen next to it. But I just don't, I don't trust it. The last time I did it, it wanted to send me like 12 miles. And decline, I can only decline one before it kicks me off. So this time I took the earn by offer and got this $11 Wingstock double order in about five miles. That's pretty good for my market for a DoorDash. Doesn't say the plus, the diamond zone. I don't see any of that kind of stuff on it. So I have no clue whether it's gonna be more. But the wing stop is ooh, right down over here somewhere. So it's right, right in the same parking lot as the gym. So works out for me. Let's go pick it up. What's the chances it's going to be ready? Put down in the comments what you think. So order number one was ready, but order number two is like three minutes out. Not a big deal. But the great drink cup debate. To fill or not to fill? The first problem I have is the app doesn't even tell me what they want to drink. So I message a customer, hopefully they'll tell me. If not, I guess I'm just getting uh, a go. So who had a crap ton of time down in the comments as far as the wait? It was an 18 minute wait for that. I only did it because obviously I'm doing content. I did my order for the day and I didn't want to unassign it. And it is a double stack and subtotals across both is over 120, 130 bucks. So I'm hoping there's some hidden tip action in there that'll bring it back up. But if it was any normal time that I wasn't doing it, 
um, you know, to try and meet my challenge, I would have unassigned it because, and I'm pretty sure most of most of you would as well. The first order came out probably within 10 minutes of me being there, and the second order, which was a lot of food, came out probably eight minutes after that, um, and it's like two or three bags worth of food. Luckily, there was only one drink in the first order, so we'll catch up after we deliver, and I'll show the payout screen and see what we got. the final payouts and this is why I don't do DoorDash so if you look you see it was a $2 tip on the first one $5 tip on the other so it ended up being 11 there was no hidden tip on it and it took me an hour one hour to do the order both the drop-offs were very difficult one was in a neighborhood where construction hey where are you going Dynapool? construction was going on so I mean the GPS could not get me to the place I, I literally had to watch the map myself and see where's the opening street no signs for detour that took me an extra 15 20 minutes just to find that second house and it was the one that had 75 dollars subtotal and it was a flat five dollar tip it's an okay tip but for the level of effort that was involved that was a 40 minute outing for just that customer alone because the restaurant was 18 minutes behind on their order right and then 20 minutes to deliver so it's why i don't do doordash that much $11 an hour, it's not worth it, right? To me, it's not worth The frustration is also what's there for me. So for anybody else who does it, I respect you. If you're able to make good money on it, I respect you because I never have in multiple states, in multiple locations, multiple restaurants with the high AR, low AR, nothing's mattered. It's always been the bottom trash orders that I get from them. Maybe one in a thousand have I gotten a semi-decent order, but for the most part, it's just not worth it, right? I mean, I did that Spark delivery the other day and the Instacart delivery. They're not high dollar paying orders, 13 to $14, $12 orders, but I was in and out of the store and delivering, shopping for 20 items and delivering in under 20 minutes. <laughs> An hour for $11. What am I doing wrong with DoorDash? <laughs> Is it just my luck with it? Because I've never seen any high payouts with it so every time I've done it I'm never able to make the same amount of money I can make through an Instacart or uh, Spark even Uber Eats uh, shipped at a point I was able to do that I just am never able to do it with DoorDash and it, it, it just doesn't it's so frustrating because I want to try and make it work but it never does and I know it's what gets the views right everybody wants to watch DoorDash content let's watch DoorDash content even though it's one of the companies to me that it is the most Predatory. I think I would have done better on the earn by time if I had done that one, right? I would have at least got 16 bucks for the hour, but that was just crazy. The amount of circumstances that were there, the delay at the restaurant, the, and my AR is, you know, my completion rate is like 84, 85, because that's what happens. I'll take an order and I'll go sit there and wait, and I end up on assigning them. So now my completion rate is off. They penalize you for the restaurant taking too long. But enough of the complaining, guys. Nothing complaining. I can't let that take my energy. Let's get the energy back up. Maybe we'll get an order. Uber incoming. And that's day eight in the books. We did it. Another day, another day, another dollar. Is that how it goes? Another day, another movement towards our goal. Just keep baby stepping our way. We're getting close to 30%. 10 days is 30%. Come on, my math is not that good. Let me. I don't know. I'll have to use a calculator. So Uber offer coming in at $2. $2, guys. Forget that garbage. So put down in the comments is anybody who is anybody actually doing this? Is anybody doing it? If you're not, it's okay. I'm doing it to hopefully keep myself going. Oh, this person's driving by looking like, what is this guy doing in his mask? Hey, I'm making a video. Come on. I'm making content here. Okay, leave me alone. We did power our way through it. Powered our way through it. That's what we got to keep doing. That little voice in the head that says, stop. Just give up. Don't listen to it. Do not listen to that voice. Push past it with your own voice. That's what I got to do at least. And I hope anybody who's watching this does the same. So I appreciate you if you're following along. A sub to the channel would be appreciated. Or maybe a like on the video. Either way, I don't want to be too demanding. Thank you again for watching. 
and we'll catch you in the next video. Oh, and remember, don't let the addiction overtake you. Wow! <laughs>